out. Maynard playing across the line. And Shahid Nazir picks up his first international wicket. That's a disappointment for the Glamorgan captain. Hold in. There's that swing again. That's a blow for England to lose Irani so soon. He needs figures. Call a bold, and that's a big appeal. He's given him out to. He doesn't think he's in it, I don't think. Well, that must have looked back a long way. It hit the inside edge, and uh, it then deflected back to the wicketkeeper. And so another one has fallen. But Jimmy Adams was throwing his arms and he's batting everything up in the air to indicate to the umpire there's no way in the world I've got to touch on that. He seemed to do it very hurriedly. And that may be why. Uh, it looked as though I've got the inside edge. Certainly those behind the wicket and the bowler were in absolutely no doubt. There I was just a minute or two ago, sitting back in the comedy box minding my own business, and now it's 5 for 32. In the air and just short. Well, just for a second it looked as if it had carried, but it was just short. It was a terrific effort from the field of young Shahid Afridi. Had to go sideways and forward as well. It's just a question of uh, did he manage to get far enough? No, it was bounced in front of him, but uh, he wouldn't have been absolutely certain how fast it was coming at him. And he picked it up off the hip. Good fielder. Got him, he's dragged it back onto the stumps. Another naught for Simons, for Simmons. Well, what a blow that is. He's trying to cut that one away on the offside. Dragged it back onto the stumps. And the West Indians have now lost another one. The significant thing to come out of that dismissal is that Brian Lara will have to change his tactics now. He was assuming that Simmons was going to stay with him and he was playing carefully without taking any risks. Now Simmons has gone at 6 for 41. Lara will have to take charge and try to drive West Indies to victory. Not going to be easy. Roland Holder is, is a good batsman, but then the last three... Well, if you've got somebody batting behind Courtney Walsh, you must assume he's not much of a player. And he's caught Moen again. He's diving all over the place. So Shahid has now got his third wicket. They've got Brian Lara, and surely now they've got this final series wrapped up. Not a great time for you to join us, Michael. Not really, Ian. But Shahid Nazir is a happy man. He has bowled very well. He has maintained the perfect line and length, whether it has been a left-hander or a right-hander. There we see Brian Lara just fishing at that one outside the off-stump and Moen can take in a brilliant catch. Who was saying that he had a bad back? That's not the action of a man with a bad back. That was brilliant. And Pakistan, well, I'm sure they have started to celebrate. Here at the MCG, in Lahore, in Karachi, and all over. Oh, he's crashed out to the offside, but straight to the man in the deep. A freely the man there, he didn't have to move an inch. And Saurav Ganguly, a little unlucky there. Really hit that off the center of the bat. But unfortunately for him, he found a freely. Yes, he did hit that hard, but uh, Afridi's a good fieldsman, and uh, he watched it and actually caught it very well. No trouble at all. He was a bit unlucky it went to him. One or two others may have struggled with that one a bit. Well, there we are. He's made 57. He's had a bit of a torrid time of it. He faced 90 balls, and unfortunately, he's not going to be there for the end. And it's now 145 for five. Uh, in the previous World Cup, they started uh, opening the innings and started fireworks straight away. That one taken the bat, looks to be close. And yes, finally, the finger raised. And that was a beautiful delivery coming back at Kalavathana. No other choice but to just pat it. And that one, super delivery. Shadow Dean, a word about it. 
a very fine delivery the batsman tried to come in front look at the replay and well he played the wrong way he tried to play towards on side and there was that little gap and the bow ball came in you see it pitched just between middle stump and off stump slightly came in and that little gap between uh, the bat and the pad and just plumb before the middle stump so the first wicket gone now it's 10 for 1 the man back in the pavilion kalu vathar we developing quite nicely well gevarne is also not lagging behind as a single double that concerned and that one red up and he has ballooned it up in the air the field getting under it holds it and that's a dismissal pakistan was looking forward to and finally the third wicket has just gone it's 177 runs on the board and the third Sri Lankan wicket just for look at the replay batsman trying to heave it somewhere over long on on the contrary the ball ballooning up straight to a pass and Mahila Jayawardene is back in the pavilion so the next man in Russell Arnold plays left handed 185 for 3 the russian allen on strike and well that's ball him well good scot him that's a lovely delivery coming back at him sharply no the alternative seen smacking missing and the stumps uprooted what a fine delivery shujaudi just look at the replay oh the ball came in beautifully it was pitched slightly outside the offstick well it was such an in cutter that i don't think russell arnold had any answer to the beautiful delivery and russell arnold of course not yet well settled it was too good a delivery for him